Here's an example of trying to find the equation of a line that goes between two specified points. It says find the equation of the line that goes through the points 4, 1, and 4, 6. So if here if I make up a quick little x, y axis, then um, let's plot these points and let's see, see what this line's going to look like. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I have to find the equation of the line that goes between uh, these two points right here. So look, something, something kind of like that. Now you can probably already tell what's going to happen in this example. I picked this one on purpose just to, to illustrate some things. It looks like this is going to be a vertical line, uh, just looking at it being that the x coordinates are the same. But let's say we didn't know that. We'll just pretend that we didn't, we're not aware of what this graph looks like. Let's see how the math would play out if we tried to find the slope and we tried to put it in either point slope form or y-intercept form or something like that. Uh, the first thing we would need, no matter what form we're looking at, whether it be point slope or slope intercept, is we'll need the slope. So let's, let's find the m. Uh, the m would be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where this is x1, y1, the first point, and this is x2, y2, this is the second point. And this will give us the rise over the run between these two points. And between here and here, there's a rise of 5 and a run of 0, and we can see that. This is a rise of 5 units, but a run horizontally of no units. And so this says that your slope is undefined. It says our slope is undefined. So if we didn't have this graph here, this might really confuse us because we would be asking, well, what number then are we supposed to use in slope intercept form or point slope form or something like that? Because we have points, but what about the slope? Well, whenever you see a slope that's undefined, bells and whistles should go off in your head saying, oh, well, if our slope is undefined, this must be representing a vertical line as it does here. So this is a vertical line and our mind immediately changes gears because we know that vertical lines are not y equals mx plus b at all. In fact, they don't even have a y. In fact, they're written x equals some value. That's the equation of a vertical line. So our answer is pretty immediate. Our answer will be x equals something. Now, what, what is the x value for these two points here? was 4, 1, and 4, 6. The x value is 4. And in fact, that's the x value for all ordered pairs on that line. 4, 1, and even the ones I haven't expressed. 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5. Here's 4, 6, but also 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 4, 10, etc. The x value is always 4, regardless of the y value. So that's why it's a little bit of a different animal, and we just get the equation of a vertical line.